All right, people, welcome back. Another episode of Fake Card Friday. So today we're actually looking at a pretty interesting card for Burning Abyss. So this is Invitation to the Burning Abyss. It is a quest file that reads, Equip only to a Burning Abyss monster. It cannot be destroyed by card effects. The equipped monster is treated as a tuner monster. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can discard Burning Abyss monster from your hand, add this card back to your hand. The effect of Invitation into the Burning Abyss can only be used once per turn. So, personally, I think this card is actually really cool, really innovative, and if it was a real card, I'd definitely play in Burning Abyss because it just seems so practical. So, let's just go over it one at a time. So, that's all right. You just go ahead and clip it to a Burning Abyss. And that first effect, it cannot be destroyed by card effects, i.e. it cannot be destroyed by its own effect. So if you have a non-burning abyss on the field, it's not gonna it's not gonna kill itself. It's not gonna be like, oh there's a non-burning abyss. I you know I'm racist, I'm gonna go ahead and you know off myself because I can't be on the field with uh, you know these non-burning abyss. <laughs> so I definitely think that's great. You know, one of the major reasons why Fiendish Shrino is so great in the OCG is because while it's on the field, other fiend type monsters just can't be destroyed battle by card effect, mostly the card effect, so your burning abyss monsters aren't dying. This is kind of like in the same boat except opposite way. So instead of, you know, all the fiend type monsters can't be destroyed while fiend is shrouded in the field, the quip monster won't be destroyed uh, by its own effect. So, for example, if you've got, you know, Mathematician, you know, you know if you have like a, oh, well, other way around because I'm about to fuck it all up. Like as soon as you would summon it, you die. Let's say you have a Burning Abyss monster, and say you have like a Sir or Graph or whatever, you equip it with Invitation, then you can just go ahead and normal summon that Mathematician and your Burning Abyss monster won't die. That's a pretty good play, I must say. That is actually a pretty awesome play. And uh, much more, much, very, very much practical that you can go ahead and uh, possibly step away from just burning abyss only on the field with this possible monster. Let's go ahead and move on to that second effect. That second effect is also really good. That the equip monster is treated as a tuner. So, as we know, there's only one burning abyss tuner being, uh, I forgot his name. <laughs> I thought it was a uh, rubric, I want to say. I want to say rubric. I want to say it's rubric. Please tell me it's freaking rubric and I'm not just an idiot. Yeah, it's rubric. So, we only got one Burning Abyss tuner being rubric. And, uh, rubric has this one special stipulation is that, uh, besides just the uh, usual, like, hey, you know, if you control the non Burning Abyss, I'm dead. But, yeah, you can only synchro summon for Burning Abyss synchro monster. And there's only one. So, ooh, the, you know, the versatility is just so freaking good. No, it's not. <laughs> So, you know, there's only one tuner and can only sink into one synchro monster. There's not much you're doing with that. With this card, this actually allows the Burning Abyss to have a lot more versatility. So, of course, the Quip Monster is treated as a tuner monster. Therefore, it's not having the restrictions like Rubric does. You know, it's not like, hey, it's already like, hey, you know, my effect to be destroyed because there's a non-burning abyss on the field, that's already like, good, we're good, we're good. But now, I don't have that restriction that Rebirth has, you know? I'm a tuner, but you can go ahead and sync whatever you want, you know? And that is definitely awesome, of course. Uh, this card would really give much easier access to Virgil, you know? You could just be like, alright, well, I'm going to go ahead and special summon a burning abyss, normal summon a burning abyss, equip it with this, sync into Virgil, uh, oh, invitation. Go ahead and pitch a Burning Abyss monster, get this back to my hand. The Burning Abyss monster, of course, get its effect on, like, this card is just so awesome. It's just a really awesome card, I must say. And I think it will bring a lot more versatility. So, of course, the Burning Abyss, lots of threes, lots of threes. Whether it be Rhino, Mathematician, or just the Burning Abyss monsters in general, there's a lot of threes. So, obviously, the only Synchro monster, of course, you can go into at the current moment. If this card was real and... You know, it's just Rubric Virgil. With this card, shit, you can go ahead and summon, summon, Goyo Guardian, summon, summon, summon. Have, you know, special summon, Burning Abyss, special summon, Burning Abyss, normal summon, equip. Nope, you're the, you're the tuner now. Sync. Oh, that Trish, though. You know, that Trish, that, uh, that, uh, that Chow Fang, if you want to, that Mistworm. So there's actually some actual practical plays that can be pulled off with this card, and you know I definitely think that I wish this card was real just for Burning Abyss, just to give them more versatility. I definitely think that it's just a very wait, useful wait, card. Wait, that's wait, wait you want to give Burning Abyss more support? Yeah, why not? Because fuck you, that's why. Aren't they topping enough in OCG? They just got the shit and they're topping. 
Why do they need more? I'm not talking about for us, EJ. I'm talking for us. Period. No more. Uh, I like this card. I like this card. I think it's, I maybe it brings a whole new versatility to the game. You know what? Makes Shut up, old make, money. Makes makes the, Shut up, old makes money. the plays more broad. You just salty. Old money. Shut it's, up. It's, it's a balanced card. It seems really fun, and it, I, I like it. I like it. It gives way more versatility in plays let, 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 let and keeps and makes it unlinear. Let the people decide. Okay, I'll let them decide. More money, bitch. Is it broke or not? You let us know because it's broke. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, if you want to, you know, since uh, the Burning Abyss monster can't be destroyed by card effects, generally, of course, your Burning Abyss monsters float, but, you know, Mirror Force is the thing, and whether you float or not, Mirror Force will be thrown at you just to make sure you don't get killed. You can go ahead and equip this to, like, maybe, like, an attacking Dante or whatever Burning Abyss monster you're attacking. Can't be destroyed by card effects, so that's actually another benefit as well. Uh, being able to go ahead and get this back to your hand by pitching and burning up its monster, and of course that burning up its monster will get the effect is also really good. Like I said, it just seems like a really balanced card. It seems like a lot of fun, brings a lot of uh, versatility and uh, spontaneousness to a arguably very linear deck that, you know, one tuner and one non-tuner, I mean, you, you know, everybody can see your plays coming from a mile away. So like I said, I think it's just a very interesting card. So, I think it's fine. Renny thinks it's busted, so but he hard. just thinks the whole archetype is busted, it so is. he's not he's not amused I'm that not. someone made a Burning Abyss S card. So you know what, tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Fake Card Friday. I'll be back whenever after my break for more Fake Card Fridays on whatever Friday of the week that I come back. So anyway, thanks for watching, thanks for the support, and yeah, see you guys later. Thanks. Hey.